What's up, everybody? A Sparrow with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Subnautica Below Zero. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we managed to make the sea truck, which is floating out there, all nice for us. Um, however, I didn't end up getting around to the cargo module, or storage module. Um, I have done a little bit off camera of resource gathering, and I did get enough to get the lead and the wiring kit, and I have an ingot ready to make it, however I don't have the lithium that I need. Um, so that's a thing. And almost as soon as I walked through, like I booted up the game, and jumped in the base and started gathering stuff, almost immediately I got this from Alan, which says temp, and so I'm assuming it's a temporary thing. But it says, your exploring has reminded me of the location of some of my people's civilization that you might find interesting. Now, it also has a data download, I think. Wait, water analyzer? What is this? Okay, so this is either something I scanned and forgot, or that's what's going to be down in the new area. But either way, we did get a, a GPS for, uh, coordinates for an artifact. So we're going to take the sea truck, I think just to uh, give us something to use it with. Because <laughs> admittedly, um, I am growing a little bit less sure of what I want to do each episode at the moment. Now, granted, I'm hoping that by the next episode, I know this is kind of weird, but by the next episode, I'm hoping to have gotten the comments on the episode before this. Um, and that's just kind of a victim of the way that my release schedule and recording schedule coincide at the moment. Um, but, and hopefully you guys will have some more ideas on uh, what we want to focus on and things like that. Though, Alan popping up like right when I need him to, to tell me, hey, by the way, there's this over here, has been useful. It looks like I missed a data pad, or I either missed a data pad, or this is not active yet. Nope, it's active. Okay, Aurora Crash Interview. Well, that's interesting. Uh, did I even try to get in here? Did I get in here already? Oh, there's a builder fragment. All right, that's interesting. So I missed that. This is empty. I'm curious. I guess I missed that builder fragment. Okay, what does the uh, Altera interview say? Or a crash interview? Oh, it's going to be there. Okay, gotcha. Um, yeah, that's the other thing I'm... Ooh. Oh, get back in. <laughs> uh, that's the other thing with... Um, I gotta watch its crush depth. Crap, I forgot about that. I don't have the depth mod. That's what I was gonna do. I said that in the last episode. I completely blanked on that. I was gonna do a mod station and start working on the upgrades for the sea truck. All right, well, I do think I have enough to do that because I've got some more silver to make a wiring kit. What is the upgrades again? Man, I completely <laughs> forgot about that. Uh, we still need lithium. Actually, we need a, a good chunk of lithium, and we'll need ruby for that one. And nickel's not an option at the moment. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and go down manually here with the sea glide. Since I can't take that any further. I'm hoping this is a different one, because this almost looks like the same spot. Um, well, it looked like the same spot. Unless... It's not. It kind of feels like it, though. Does it feel like it anybody else? It kind of seems like we, we came down this way last time. I'm trying to keep an eye on the depth. Ooh, something's not happy about us being here. That's okay, I'm not either. Alright, I'm gonna leave that. Um, I'm trying to keep an eye out for rubies and lithium because that's the- ooh, what is this? Fabricator module! Okay, so the sea truck seems like it's kind of becoming the new, um, like, mobile base, like a new cyclops, but it's like module base, which is kind of cool. Oh, this is storage. Never mind. Oh! Oh, okay. So this is the artifact thing. Oh, this is needed to... Okay, okay, okay. This is needed to... Um... To access the overall storage container thing. So we need more of those fragment things. I gotcha. I gotcha. Alright. 
Um, we are going to use the Sea Glide because I want to keep moving relatively quickly. Crap, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to circle. Because um, I want to keep close to these uh, air plants, basically. They're kind of a lifeline at the moment. Um, let's go down and grab this one. Can't tell. Are these just particles? I guess they're just particles. Okay. Um, I was kind of hoping, since there were those fabricator fragments, I was kind of hoping to get enough of those. I think we're actually pretty decently squared away on diamonds. Um, oh, right. I gotta remember to stay away from... Oh, that's... That's right, that orca thing's around here. Wait, what the... What the... Oh, it's... I got... Grabbed me. That is not cool. Not cool, bro. Um, I gotta remember that orca thing's down here, too. That thing was a nasty piece of work. I'm trying to... I don't remember if I found rubies or not, but I feel like lithium was around here somewhere the last time I was down here. I could be wrong, though. Maybe it was higher up? Uh-oh. Oh, there it is! Ah, I don't like that thing. We've, we did this last time. We had this rodeo before. Stay away from me. Oh man, I don't know where I'm gonna come up at. <laughs> That's the problem with getting scared underwater. You end up somewhere completely different than you meant to be. Uh, what is this? Oh, this is that other area. You Are you done? You gonna stay down there in the deep, dark depths where you belong? And not out here with me? Um... Yeah, I really need uh, ruby and lithium. That's really the big things that are keeping me from uh, being able to fully upgrade. Mainly the lithium, because I need lithium for the plasteel ingots. Um, I could do... I could do without the ruby right away, because then we could upgrade the ship and get down lower. Um, but without the lithium, I can't make it, so... And again... Oh, here it crash. How? You could always outrun those before. That's a little annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Um Man, I really I think lithium was always one that just sat out on its own too, if my memory serves. I know I've picked some up before, but I'm just drawing a blank at the moment. Um Plenty of gold. I have a lot of gold at the moment. I haven't found enough things that use it. Uh, oh! Did I, did I circle back around? I must have circled around. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's down this way. I wonder if there's any lithium in here. I forget where I picked, because I have like, I had like one or something. I just don't remember where I found it. I think we're going to go back... I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think we're going to go back down um, into that darker area because I really think it was down in there somewhere that I found it in the first place. But maybe we can pop in in a different spot. Maybe we'll find other blueprints and such. Maybe. Hopefully. I'm gonna, eh, no, I'm not. I was going to say I'm going to leave that, but... I think I haven't done the math on it or anything. Is that the is that the orca thing? Yeah, it is. I mean, looks really cool. I gotta give him that. He looks really, really cool. But he looks better way, way far away from me. <laughs> I do not like it when he's close. Uh, that's storage. I don't want to fill up on titanium right now. So we're going to give him a wide berth and kind of go out this way. There's more diamond. Um, I started to say I haven't done like the math on it or anything, but I think those water or air plants 
seem to refill about every 30 seconds to a minute, give or take. I think. Could be wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. Um... Where is he? I feel like this is the first, like, Reaper Leviathan thing that you're gonna run into, maybe. Oh, jeez! <sighs> that scared me. It's like, those don't actually hurt, they just make me think of getting attacked by that big thing. Okay, we're back here again. Oh, wait. There's another art artifact? Okay, well, let's head that way. I do apologize, too. I normally try and cut this stuff, and if you see a lot of cuts, then you probably aren't going to know what I'm talking about, because I decided to cut it. Um, but I normally try and cut some of this, but when I'm exploring, it's hard, because there's a lot of stuff that I haven't seen before, so I kind of want to show it at the same time. So it's a little bit tricky for me. But, like I said, if you're seeing a bunch of snippets and cuts anyway, then it's... No, 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 Don't want none. You stay on your side of the line, you and I will just get along fine. Um, I don't know how to get over to this thing, though. It's the only thing I'm running into here. Is, I see the marker, but it's not exactly a straight path. So I'm not sure. That's a bit higher. It's not like I really want to go real deep. Ow! What the heck, man? Didn't even see anything. Alright, I think I made a loop. Dang, nabbit! How do I get over there? I can't... Uh, let's turn the map on. I don't think that'll help, but maybe it'll help. Maybe it'll give me a path I'm not seeing. Because I don't see... Well... Also, I can't quite tell where I am on this map, which doesn't help anything. I guess I'm the little dot, but the little dot is hard to see. So, up here? And then back in here? I feel like this is just looping around. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's actually... Ah, it's just looping around again! Dagnabbit! cannot figure out how to get over here. I am actually really surprised I haven't drowned yet. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, I'm, I'm giving up on this artifact for now. Um, just because we're... Stop grabbing me! They're so grabby! Um, yeah, just because we're running low on air, my sea glide's getting low on power, yada 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 going to uh, back off on that particular beacon. Also, there may be another spot where we can drop down. That This may not be the only trench area to get down here. So that's a factor, too. But I'm really kind of surprised I didn't find any lithium yet. Okay, so um, I'm back. Well, I say I'm back. I'm actually away from the base. Um, I did some more resource gathering stuff. Still can't find that much lithium, though. So, also, I ended up with another of these messages from Alan. And I guess we have a scan from the obelisk here that I didn't look at. But again, it doesn't look like there's a lot there. Now, the one thing I'm not sure about is in my GPS coordinates. He did give me another beacon thing, hence the message, but the other one was still in here and I didn't turn it off like I did the first one, so I'm starting to wonder if maybe this second one is actually that obelisk water analyzer that we already saw. But just to make sure, I decided to come down this way and see if we could come down almost directly on it and see if we can find it. Now the un only thing is, it seems like we've got some heat vent things going on here. And I don't know if I can get through here or not without um, becoming a very crispy um, subnautican? I'm not sure what the term would be. This doesn't look like it goes through. 
so I'm thinking this was a terrible idea. And we're gonna leave. <laughs> it did not go well. Um, also, while we were out here, I picked up another beacon thing, so we're gonna check that out. I'm going to go ahead and write this off as it's the beacon we already found, just because it does seem to be giving me a beacon each time, and I never disabled that one, so we're gonna turn that one off. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the one we already found. So we're gonna head over this way, but I wanna check out this beacon, because I don't know what this is. It says Delta Base Dock, but I feel like, I feel like we already did this. I don't know why I'm just now picking up a beacon for it, unless this is a different base, which is possible, but I feel like, let's get out here first and see. I guess it could be, where'd the beacon go? I lost the beacon. It could be, but I kind of feel like this is the same thing. Oh, there it is. Uh, pick up beacon. You know what? Let's just pick up the beacon, maybe. I don't, mm -mm. I don't think I need one here. I mean, there's the hot springs. I feel like this is the same place with Margaret. All right, I think it's Margaret. I, I hope I'm saying that right. It's probably not, but... Um, I... I don't know what the verdict is here. I don't remember that spinny antenna, but then again, they did do an update, so... Maybe it is, maybe it isn't? I can't really tell. I guess there's only one way to find out, and that's just run back up here and see if it's the same place or not, but... It's really weird, because... It, it looks like it's the same place. I just don't remember that spinning beacon thing. I mean, I guess we'll grab <laughs> we'll grab more sulfur, I guess, but this all looks the same. Even the route we're taking is basically the same thing. Um, I wonder if there's any lithium around here for us to find. No, nope, this is... well... Is this an Altera base? Okay, something else is triggering. My data pad sports your intuition. So this is not the same. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. Okay, we got data pad there. So this is actually not the same place. I'm very surprised by this. Satellite surveillance. Okay. Well, that's cool. Um. There's a PDA, we'll grab that. Obviously it's temporary, I'm not as worried about all the data stuff this playthrough. Um, it did say the temperature was dropping, so we should probably get like inside or something. Um, I don't know if that's gonna open or not. I see the door there, but... It looks like it's covered in snow, so I'm not sure if that's gonna help us or not. Spacious quarters must belong to a manager. Maybe I can find traces of Sam. Ooh! Plant pot. As opposed to a pot plant. Oh. <laughs> so we got that PDA there. The task revolution. So there was a lot of PDA, so this is gonna be... And that was a weird one too. It said I've had the locker scanned for the longest time, but wouldn't like actually let me build it, which was really weird. Um, let's check out this other building here. It's really weird too, because like I remember there being a build fragment and stuff like right next to it. So it's almost like it's the same layout. But apparently not Seek the same shelter. place. It's a jukebox, I guess I already have that. PDA. Coffee vending machine. We'll probably end up going over these um, blueprints, not blueprints, these PDA things in the next episode, I imagine. Acquired. But that's if I remember it, because last time I said that I didn't remember it. Ooh, world map! Hello! I wonder if I actually can get a map out of that. That would be super helpful. Sea poster. Delta station map. Maybe that's what that was. 
<laughs> no, say no to sky rays. That's hilarious. Jeremiah's bird wall. Doesn't look like much of a bird wall, but okay. We'll roll with it. So that's really interesting. I did not expect that. Um, yeah, that's very curious. We're going to probably just jump off the other side here and head back to the, um, the truck. Probably going to try and run up here real quick and see if there's anything on top of this area here. Seek shelter. See if there's anything useful on this satellite. Test override module port. Okay, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's not really there yet. Oh, I cannot jump over this. <laughs> or rather, I could, but it would lead to uh, egregious bodily harm. <laughs> so I thought for some reason it was like right there. Ow. Apparently you can drop over it. That was not intentional. Um, I was thinking I could drop over that and into the water for some reason. Not so much. Oh good, now it's like snow raining. Snaining? Rowing. Ray rowing. I'm just taking a beating <laughs> trying to be all parkour at the moment. <laughs> uh, I was really just wanting to get back to the sea truck thing to uh, explore a bit further. But yeah, um, I've got plenty of stuff. I think we'll be able to make um, the upgrades and everything. Ooh! What is this? You do not trust Alterans. Neither do you, but your sister was Alteran. My sister was human, she worked for Altera. My people do not perceive a difference. We are what we do. Interesting. So you're always in agreement with your employer or your network? No. I sense there's more to this story. And more to that of your sister. Oh yeah, I like Alan. That's fine, change the subject, we'll come back to it later. Whoa, jeez! I don't feel like I'm supposed to be out here. Ooh, what is that? That's creepy. I feel like really Below Zero definitely upped its game, like it took everything that made the first one cool. What is that? Is that a whale? Please tell me that's a whale and not gonna try and eat me. It looks like a whale. The underbelly looks like a blue whale or whatever. Man, we are out far. Look at all this. Like, I, I will admit, um, because I'm so familiar with the map of the first game, it felt kind of like we had explored everything for some reason. And there's so much more out here that I haven't run into yet. There's like so many different biomes. I feel like the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the below zero part of this, I think they did a little bit better with the... Not necessarily even biome diversity, because the first game had quite a bit of different biomes, but like the biome locations that like they felt they feel bigger that you're kind of going along and then all of a sudden it would just turn into something else and in below zero it feels a bit more like you're traveling along and then you start seeing little things here and there and if you go out far enough then it changes to a new area kind of thing you're like oh okay so I feel like they did a lot better with the with the biome changes and made it feel a bit more organic. It could just be me. Could also be because I just played the first game so much that I just know where everything is and there's not a lot of shock anymore. And I don't know this one well at all, and so I'm very like, ooh, what is this? Um But we've got plenty of room in our inventory. Get a lot of data downloads. I don't really want to scan through them so that I still have them in my list of things that um, will know what's new and what's not new. Oh, what is that? Thermos. Real Italian espresso diluted with tasteless American water. Interesting. Titanium and glass. I wonder if you can like put water in the thermos or something, or if that's what you use on the coffee machine. 
Because in the original game, you just got coffee from it, but they may have changed it. Hydrating caffeine-free coffee. Hmm. Curious. Very curious. Alright. Um, let's take the plunge and risk popping out here in unknown waters where I have no idea what's going to eat me and what won't. Um, I think that's the thing that also makes this game a little bit more intriguing to me is um, I really don't know the fish as well, or the rather the life forms as well. Um, and so I'm kind of left unsure as to what's a threat and what isn't. It's like, can I grab this? Can I not grab this? I don't know. Should I run away from it? Is it friendly? You know. Th and they did some really cool design stuff like that. I'm gonna say that's hostile. Why? Because it has a fin on its back and that makes me think shark. So it's like, if that's accurate, then they did some really cool things with, uh, like, the underbelly of that one having more of, like, a blue whale, so you automatically think that it's not a threat. You know, just little things like that that I really have to give them props on. Oop! This is an artifact of some significance. I can tell you more about my culture next time you find culture. Wait, what? In this call, Alan and Robin discuss an aspect of the architect culture, how Alan relates to his own people, and whether humanity tends to behave in similar different ways. Okay. I do like that, too, that um, in the first game, the architects, as we're calling them now, um, were more, like, extinct almost, or at least it seemed that way, like they were not inhabiting the planet, it seemed, and you did most of your exploring of that culture through the, uh, man, they have some really cool, they definitely upped their game on the creature design, too. Um, but there was a lot of stuff like, you know, through the, uh, what, what was it called, the, um, Sea Emperor thing that talked to you a little bit more, but that was more about the Sea Emperor than the actual architects, and having Alan in your head, I do like that they're finally exploring a bit of the, um, architect stuff, where it's like you're getting to hear more about the, the alien culture and things, I think that's kind of cool. I'm curious to see what they end up doing with that, with the final, final product, so to speak. Ooh, what is this? Is this like the mushroom biome? Hey, if this is the mushroom biome, maybe this is where I find lithium. And that's the other weird part, is I knew kind of where to go for everything in the first game. Now, not so much. I don't really know what everything is and what's what. We're gonna get out here, because I want to see if there's anything on top of these. Mature lily pad. I'll say, the thing's freaking huge. Man, that's crazy. They did some really cool work on, on level design and stuff in, in both of these games, especially considering that they're supposed to be um, the same planet kind of thing, just different areas. Your exploring has reminded Signal me of location. location uploaded to PDA. Oh, okay, well that's convenient. Um, much like the first one though, see we went to this one, so let's... Where's, where's this next one at? Ooh, it's a good little clip away. Hmm. We might handle that in the next episode. Um, I don't entirely know how everything's gonna go in the next episode. We're probably going to continue exploring around as Alan keeps popping out different locations for us. That is an interesting way to progress, too. Like, the original game, the progression was more based on, like, your upgrade material, like, what you needed. You needed a a thing, or the life pods, right? Like, you had to go after the life pods, and it got you to other biomes, just like this last artifact got us to this biome. Um, so I think that's kind of cool that they changed up the progression a little bit to where it's not so much the life pods that you're hunting down, but now it's artifacts for Alan that he needs to, or he, they need to, um, oh, whoa! Hold up. Uh-oh. Nope, don't want none. M37? This is, a, is this an Altera ship? 
Well, that's interesting. I don't know the designation of the Aurora, but the Aurora didn't crash in the Arctic region, so this can't be the Aurora. Ooh, power cell. Nice. So we'll need a laser cutter to get through that door. What was it trying to have me scan there a second ago? Was that a fish? I guess that was a fish. Well, this is cool. I did not expect to find ships. It shouldn't have surprised me, really. You find ships all over in the first game, but I hadn't seen any indication of that in this one. It was more surface related. How intriguing. Oxygen plant. Oh, that's a glass. Okay. And that's another sealed door. So, so far we're needing a laser cutter to get through into this. Hence the laser cutter fragments that we have laying around here. Oh, that actually had two things in it. I was not expecting that. Okay. This is another entrance. Wow! So we'll definitely have to make a laser cutter and end up coming back here. You know, I was kind of hoping that sound was me inside um, the, the ship. It's kind of making me concerned about what that sound actually was now. Uh, but yeah, so we'll probably investigate this artifact over here next, I think. I'll have to keep in mind- Oh, Idea! Got an idea. Check this out. You ready for this? You ready for this amazing feat of ingenuity? Bam! Place a beacon. Cause I had one. Why not? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> I know. Brilliant, right? Uh, so with that, I think we're gonna wrap things up cause we're a bit out of time for today. But next time, we're going to do a mix, I think, of continuing to investigate um, these artifacts, which will eventually lead us to different biomes, and hopefully we'll eventually stumble on a biome that is plentiful with lithium, and we'll have what we need to upgrade the uh, sea truck and get some more uh, modules for it, and so on and so forth. But for now, we're going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!